Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank, and today I want to be playing some more Inscription Casey's mod. Let's go ahead and get started. I think I'll go with... Hmm, I don't see a lot of need in this Kingfisher set, but I'm kind of curious what this strange looking card is, so let's try it out and see what it is. Don't know if it'll be a good choice or not, but we'll see. Single Candle. We're 30 points, and we're trying to get up to 70 now. Oh, that's hard. Um, boss and all totem gets us only to 35. No boss rares gets us to 50. We still need 20 more points. So I guess tip scales might be better than having to deal with more difficult or single candle. So let's just roll with that and see if we can make some progress here. The Great Kraken, Waterborne, while submerged, submerged itself during its opponent's turn, while submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. That's interesting. I wonder what the deal is with this card. Huh. I'm guessing there's something kind of special about it. For it to have uh, its own weird Waterborne logo and everything, it seems might be something special to it. Okay, um, well, I do have some Kingfishers and Great Kraken. We could stick with kind of waterborne type stuff. Um, let's see. Perhaps we could do River Otter to stick with our theme here. And a River Snapper, why not? And just keep going with things that are vaguely water creature related. Um, don't need to get any items, I guess going to the woodcarver makes some sense. Okay, um, let's see, we do have birds, and this fits in the reptile, I don't know what river water and great kraken go to, maybe, um, reptile or something, so let's do the bird head to start with. Maybe we can get something for the kingfishers that will make them more suitable for the fights to come. Okay, burrower with coyote. That's not good. Um, I'm not sure if kingfisher will trigger that, but we can try it out here in just a moment and see. They're starting off by putting three damage on the board right away too. It's not all that good. All right, well, let's get River Otter on, and um, it's only gonna get us plus two, but they're gonna get plus three. So I think I have to yank something over to have a chance here. Probably should just let the match be a loss, but. Oh well. Okay, time to get our snapper on the board. Alright. Let's see. Could get another item. We could do a sigil swap of some sort. Um, not seeing a really good one to do though. So I think I'll head this way just in case we get us some sort of interesting um, pelt or something. Hey, there we go. Golden pelt is always a treat. Let's do the airborne. Why not? Okay. Um, Let's see, don't really have any teeth, so let's go this route and head for an enhancement instead. Okay, another coyote and porcupine combo right off the bat. That's just not ideal at all. Um, I guess let's put the river snapper in front of the coyote just to uh, start chipping away at its health. Ok, 
Okay, now we could put a kingfisher down. All right, making that progress. We'll go ahead and take them out just in case we can get teeth. Don't think we'll be able to get much, if any, but we'll see. Okay. Might be able to get two excess teeth. Oh, golden pelt. That won't help us do any extra damage. <laughs> One tooth. Alright then. Cockroach sounds good to me. Alright, something to put some strength onto. Let's see. I'm tempted to put it on our great kraken just for fun. Let's do it. Who knows if this will um, become anything, but. I'm going to look it up before I get too far along, just in case it does do something interesting. Alright, wolf cub. That's not good. Kind of need to get something in front of it, but we'll put a kingfisher down and uh, hit continue. Ah, the great kraken becomes a random tentacle card. That's what it does. Alright. Time to get rid of our wolf cub problem. There we go. Alright, let's see. Well, Kingfisher won't be taken out by the wolf, so that's nice. River Otter is going to get taken out by the wolf cub, so that's not ideal. And I think as of now, we don't have enough damage capable on the board here to uh, overcome things. We can pull a tooth, but even that, I don't think will be enough. Let's see. They're going to do plus four right here. All right. So it's going to be really close. Okay. There we go. Now we got it. Yeah. Then we get to try out our great Kraken now, too. Okay. Didn't get to see a full cycle of it. I think that if it had went under, we would have seen it come up as something random. So, oh well. Oh, a mud turtle. Another kind of semi-water related creature. Alright. Boulders it is. Okay, whose power do we want going out? About our mud turtle, let's see. Undying cockroach, if we put it on something else, would that be worth it? Um, perhaps on the great kraken, or the mud turtle's ability. Um, it is waterborne, meaning it's not going to get damaged anyways, so... Um, I don't know if it's worth putting on the mud turtle alone though. Consuming four bone every time might not be as big of a deal versus a mud turtle taking up two blood. I mean, I've got to do something, unfortunately. So, what about a waterborne cockroach? 
it would be kind of funny. I guess it would make the sigil moot though. Um, could put it on the mud turtle though. I think that sounds kind of relevant. And a little bit of a waste of its shield ability, but this will mean it can stay on the board and hang a little bit longer. I'd like to combine those kingfishers into one and I think that would make it more powerful. Alright. So we need to take out that coyote, but fortunately we won't be able to, so let's just play Kingfisher. And we have another coyote coming in. So let's do, um, well, we can't just easily do another um, card here, so we'll block that way, and that'll sustain us for a couple of turns. Okay. River Snapper, we can hold off for now. Ah, and then Great Kraken. Let's go ahead and get it on the board. A little bit of a concern with this being the Prospector and all, but I think that things will work out just right, that we'll be okay. We're certainly going to have a lot of cards in our hand soon. We'll put down the boulder to block this uh, Coyote again. Okay. Um... Well, the mirror tentacle isn't really going to help us get past the teeth here, so let's just start drawing squirrels in case we need to. Mud turtle, replacing the two of these may be a good idea, actually. Hate to lose it, though. Here's just a slot opened up, too. So we could get another kingfisher down, or the mud turtle perhaps. Our tentacle monster is unfortunately a little bit useless at the moment. Um, so let's do thinking the mud turtle. Yeah, I think it's gotta be to have a chance here. It could be the river snapper. I think I'd rather lose that right now. There we go. Alright, well we could get Mud Turtle going too and take out the Coyote column in one turn. Unfortunately we'll lose them going into the next phase, but I think it'll be worth it overall. Pack Mule is down to only 3 HP too. have cockroach and kingfisher left um, so that's not good let's see cockroach could be used to take out bloodhound somewhat kingfisher can it's kind of be in park over here and uh, yeah let's start with that I suppose okay go go cockroach Cockroach, go, go. Just chip away at our bloodhound here. It's crazy that we're almost to uh, starvation levels here. Wow, Kingfisher got it for us there in the end. I did not see that happening. Okay, uh, let's see. If we took the dire wolf and put its abilities on something else, what would it be good with? Um, 
perhaps just putting it on a Kingfisher. Um, or actually putting a Kingfisher's ability on a Dire Wolf sounds nicer. I think it will strive for something like that. Having one that's unkillable and does four damage would be uh, pretty sublime. So let's go with it. Okay. Let's do this guy, a Rattler. Not my favorite card. We may sacrifice it for a bone token. All right, decent set of stuff here. I do have one card to trade in. Um, so let's go ahead and go for that, I guess. These battles are already pretty difficult, so I'm not super confident I'll be able to win today, but we'll see where we get. All right, is it cracking time? I think it could be. There we go. Oh, and of course we get an adder right away. Let's see. I'm not sure I'll be able to win this one, unfortunately. This is just going to be a little bit of an overwhelming uh, result right away. Could make the skink run away. The adders would get us, I think, too far down in the damage, though. So had to have them skip a turn. Um, so I think that I'll do a. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I want to do a card cut. I mean, these all have Guardian on them as well. So I guess a turn skip will be a possibility, and we could play our Mud Turtle, and uh, it would be able to place the Skink off to the side, and then we'll take out um, one of the Adders and go from there. Okay. And let's see what we have now, Kingfisher. So let's take out one of the adders. I hate using up our things this way, but kind of going to have to, I think. And let's wave our fan. And that will give us points without moving the skink around, I think. Man, there is looking like no way I can turn this around with how it's going. Um, we'll put that down and keep going. Yeah, these adders are going to be the end of us here, from what I can tell. Um, yeah, I don't think that we'll be able to pull away from this situation, unfortunately. Let's see, another squirrel. Maybe we'll get us, um enough saved up that we can play our dire wolf. All right. Fortunately, I'm going to have to sacrifice something, so I think it, it's going to have to be um, the kingfisher. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these on the line. And we will sacrifice, 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 and take out one of the adders. And I think we have enough to play a rattler too now. And that'll take out that column. There we go. Okay. Well, we were able to turn it around. Good, good. All right, let's send in our pelt. Golden pelt. Um, I want to try out the douse because I'm. I don't think I ever have played it yet. So let's see what it's like. And I'm thinking about 
on the dire wolf, taking one of the kingfishers um, sigils and putting it on there so that it can't be gotten rid of. Or I could put their sigils on the douses so that it could stay around. And I think that that might be interesting and powerful. So let's do that. Okay. Okay, insects that move over. Does it seem like a huge threat on the face of it at least? Start off with the kingfisher. Alright. Oh, another flying ant. Well, there there goes our match. I uh, don't see really a good way out of this. Um, I do have just enough to play a dire wolf though, and I could get rid of an ant column here. Um, however, that ant is going to do too much damage to me. Um, so I could get rid of this one, and I might have just enough bone to play the cockroach. So I could put the cockroach right there and the dire wolf in that column. And maybe I'll be okay with that. So let's see what happens. There we go. And cockroach goes over there. Let's see how we do. All right. So far, so good. Alright, I guess that we're going to win it after all. We'll uh, take the mud turtle out just to add insult to injury here. Gotcha. Good. It's getting a little bit shaky uh, without having any items as well. Ah, lovely magpie. Let's see what we're going to duplicate now. Okay. How about... Another... Well, I'm tempted to do something other than a Dallas. It's kind of my best performer, though, so... Let's do... Let's do the Dallas and... That way it'll increase our chances of drawing one in a given hand, and then if we get a fungi event, um, that would be a douse that could do, whoa, it could be four and six. Um, so, yeah. Maybe we'll just keep both of them and sacrifice our dire wolf or something. Flying ant and a skink, and the flying ant has stinky. Okay, um, Great Kraken is going to go underwater, which should make it be safe to attack, and then he'll come back as something else, I guess. Let's play it, and we'll get it on the board. Okay. Let's see, maybe it's using card counter? No, it's uh, the bell ringer thing. Um, let's see. Can't play anything else because it's just bone cards. Ooh, that's it already. Wow. And it's really stink starting with um, one tooth already on the board. Like, and it's hard to recover from. Let's head towards the fungi event, I suppose. River Snapper. I guess I'll go with the Elk Pond though, since we might be able to put Fledgling on a different card. Not super confident in this run, so we'll just see how it goes. Alright, here comes our Mega Douse. Having that damage alone should be um, 
pretty productive. I hope that we can get it down on the match here soon enough. Okay, who needs some health? Let's see. Tempted to say let's put it on our cockroach, but might use elf fawn to sacrifice it. Anyways, um, or actually I'll boost it and I'll put the dire wolf's sigil on the elk fawn. So let's boost it up. That'll give it some longevity. And with it only being one blood, um, that'll be imminently playable. And with three health, it should be able to uh, get played just about no matter what, I think. All right. Here comes a tough fight. It's going to be the second boss level too, so that's not good. It'll be hard. Let's get Elk Fawn on the board. We need a show of power right away. Even though it'll hit a bait bucket at some point, we kind of need to get this going, I'd say. There we go. Good. We got the Kingfisher off the board. And time to play some Kraken. Gotta get to Kraken. Oh, good. It came with a fair amount of attack power. Oh no, I should have. Oh no. Big mistake. Um, oh well, I guess I want to have to let it happen. There we go. Ooh, got lucky there. Okay. So, we really need to get something on the board here. Um, fortunately, the elk is going to hit that, and that's going to be plus four. And that's going to hit too, and it's going to die, so I don't think I can win. Um, there's just going to be too much heat here. I mean, I could sacrifice the two of them and put the River Snapper in the middle, I suppose. It's really kind of my only chance at any kind of luck here. So let's just do this for now. As lame as it is. <laughs> and... Magpie could similarly sacrifice those two out. Um, that bait bucket's going to be there. Be a problem. Um, I guess it's better than backwards. And we do get our cockroach back as well. So let's lay out. Maybe our douse would be a good idea. It's only two. HP and it can survive the first attack by a uh, what you doogie, the um, great white. So there we go. Okay, let's put down our douse. I think this will be my first time playing one ever. Yep, there's our chime, and it's airborne and waterborne too, so it shouldn't impact the bait buckets. All right. Good. Wow, to speak the angler with uh, no items. That was really hard. Okay, a second cockroach. So we could get a strong cockroach if we had a fungi event. An adder. Um, if we put its ability on somebody else, like say the magpie or something that would be kind of a funny troll thing to do or the elk fawn i really like the idea of the dire wolf's ability on the elk fawn so it just goes around hitting everything twice and moving on so let's do a duplicate cockroach they're just so handy to have on hand so we'll just go that route i think would be for the best All right, well, I need items. Kind of would like a fungal event. Um, 
I don't see anything worth duplicating right now. And as far as sigil swap goes, um, there's another one up here, so let's just go to the left. I think that makes the best sense right now. Alright, four might, four blood, six of health. Um, let's do might, I suppose. They all look not super fantastic. Okay, got lucky there. Ooh, a porcupine that has many lives and gener generates rabbits. Um, that could be really nice for getting stuff on the board. And then a turkey vulture that's waterborne and is already sacrificed. Um, skink that's airborne and has sharp quills. Hmm, I want to go with the porcupine because it's generating a rabbit and having many lives, like, I can see that really helping us get stuff on the board, like the dire wolf. Okay. Here we go. Alright. What kind of situation are we in now? Turkey vulture with loose tail and a mole. Hmm. Well, it's a great kraken to start things here. Um, let's put it here in the middle, I guess, and leave things as they are. Okay. That. Um, Great Kraken's gonna hit the mole, and I don't know if playing, playing the frozen possum will make any difference on the uh, turkey vulture, but we'll try. I'm not positive if it affects airborne or not. Um, we can also get a river snapper now if we use one of our black goats, but I think the turkey vulture is just gonna win it, and it's gonna be over, um, fortunately. But I could use the magpie to try to find a uh, better card and that would be possibly something that could turn things around. Um, I could put down the douse and it would do 4 HP of damage um, but if I could get the dire wolf it could take out the turkey vulture I could put the dire or the Dallas in front of the turkey vulture and that would take it out too. So let's do that instead. Um, well, yeah, so there's that problem. Let's just go with this then, I guess, and kind of see what happens. I really don't have a good way out of this situation, I think. I wonder if the chimes can even be struck with this. I may have like kind of ruined the douse's potential here. Um, yeah, I can't get rid of the chimes. Um, wow, that may have been a funny rookie mistake here. We'll see if uh, chime striking happens here with the fawn here in a moment, I guess. Oh, too much damage. I think I'm dead. Wow. Alpha came in and completely wrecked me. And the chime did not ring, so that is a funny thing that I did not consider, is if they're turned over, um, apparently they're useless. <laughs> they will never make the noise. That's what I've enjoyed so much about this game, though, is that you think you've seen all the possibilities and then you see something new and it kind of surprises you. <laughs> there we go. Now we have an elk fawn that should be pretty formidable once it's um, grown up. Okay. Two elk fawns with loose tail on. Could 
can get his uh, mud turtle started. In fact, I think that that'll be a good idea. So we'll get it going. There we go. Another elk fawn and let's see something else coming down the pipe. Um, an actual full-blown elk. So that's not good. We could take out um, the two elk fawns and one swipe with the great kraken, however. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll keep the elk at bay for a turn as well. Oh, another silly mistake. I should have just let it be now. I'm going to get five damage in one turn. <laughs> oh, me am I. All right. Um, let's see what we get here. So it has card counter on. Um, yeah, this is a loss. So big goof. I think that I'll try a insect run after this and uh, see if we can have it a little bit better. I, I really don't think the Great Kraken card is where it's at. It really um, doesn't seem to have a lot of potential, unfortunately. So let's do a new run, and this time we'll do insects, and um, we'll do the same set we had before. Um, I want to take off tip scales, though, and see if we can replace it with something else. Um, let's see, these are all five each. Perhaps we could do one of the more difficult and no clover. The tip scale just so hard. Um, having that disadvantage right off the bat. Maybe we'll do better with more difficult turn on instead. If not, that's okay too. Just see how far we can get. That was such a hard match. I kind of can't get over it. Let's go with insects all the way. Um, we'll get the corpse maggots so that we can put its auto deploy feature out on something that also has undying. Um, so I don't think I need to get items right now. Let's just go this way. We'll boost up maybe one of our ant queens or something, or we can make a flying ant that lasts longer. Um, or a skunk that has a lot of HP that can block something off for a long time would be pretty cool. A lot of opportunities here, but I think I'll go with boosting up the Ant Queen since having 5 health makes it survivable to even a Great White. get us an ant on the board. Ah, and a porcupine's incoming already. Um, let's see, I guess we'll use an emergency squirrel to take out um, our coyote problem over here. Okay, I think in our next turn we'll be losing our flying ant, so let's get us another worker ant down and this will be 9 damage and win the match for us. So all we had to do was use up a squirrel. That's not too bad. Okay, here we go. Alright, another ant. Sweet. Oh, putting more swan on something. Um, you know, come think about it. I wonder if I put more swan on something that is undying, I could just sacrifice it over and over and over and keep getting its goodies. So I'm going to take that and see if um, that holds true, because that would be amazing. Okay. Um... We have a sparrow and a skunk incoming. Could have a skunk and skunk standoff. Looks like nothing to do for a first turn. 
and we could get us um, an ant queen deployed now. So let's, oops, let's do so. In the next turn, we'll put our ant in front of the coyote, take it out. There we go. Soon enough, we'll have us another ant queen. Oh, he is already um, surrendering. Awesome. Ah, exactly enough. Okay, let's see. So, one moment, I'll be right back. Okay, I've returned. Let's see. I don't have a lot of teeth, so let's go on to the prospector instead. Ah, a mealworm. Interesting. It has a uh, sharp quills on it. Ooh, okay. This will be the first time I've tried this combo out, so... Maybe the first time I've had the morsel on my totem ever, so looking forward to seeing how that goes. And said this route, just in case we get a chance to get another insect. All right, if we could get the ant queen's powers on anything, that'd be pretty powerful. And also, we have corpse maggots that can be use as part of the fun so um let's see we can have us a flying ant right away and the pronghorn is going to be stuck where it starts off at so we'll just play this and keep going from there i suppose oh and now we have an elk fawn problem coming up so let's do this number here and um we could sacrifice out and get us the Ant Queen down, and it'll have more power, okay? And should be able to do a good number on our Pronghorn situation. Okay. And on the next turn, it'll take out the Pronghorn and the Elk Fawn. Um, or else this, actually, when I play this Worker Ant, it'll do it. Here we go. Good. That mole prevented the um, elk fawn coming our way, so that was nice. I think that this round belongs to us now. Oh yeah, totally, totally so. We're gonna get us another ant queen on the board while we're at it. Could have totally destroyed that stump. I should have uh, sacrificed it and put some mega ant on there. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Um, let's see. I suppose let's go with Canine. Let me get a wolf cub. All right, or health. Um, I could see us doing something like could put it on the corpse maggot since they auto deploy. Um, let's see. Millworm is another possibility that's spiking us too, and it only costs two bone to get on the board. Um, and I could combine the Corpse Maggot's ability with Millworm so it auto deploy. So I think I'll go with that. Um, well, actually, I think I did that exactly backwards. Um, so let's just roll with it and see what happens. So, like I said, I did that a little bit backwards, but I think I'll just boost up our wolf cub and uh, we'll have a stronger wolf when the time comes, like a three and three. So that'll be hard to uh, stop overall. Okay, pack mule and then coyote, um, and we do have a wolf cub that can take on the coyote, so that's pretty nice. The skunk could sustain a few hits too, so I think we'll do the wolf cub and head on out. Okay, we should be able to take on, I think the pack mule will move in front here in a moment. And let's put a skunk down to block some of the blows of the Cody. Alright. And, ooh, nice, we got this millworm, so that'll come into play soon enough. I'm afraid to put anything down unless the wolf um, get us advanced to the next phase. So. It still has two HP, the Coyote will take it out, unfortunately. The Corpse Maggots will come in and have a fair amount of energy. Um, so let's see, I guess that we're just going to have to kind of roll with things. Here we go. And now the Wolf is going to take out the Coyote, funny enough how that worked out. Alright, and now we have a coyote that is incoming, so what about, we could put a millworm down and get something really strong, but I don't know, I think we'll just keep going with what we have here. We're entering phase two, so we're going to lose our wolf and skunk as is. Thankfully our corpse maggots came in and took that. Uh, effect of that first hit away. Millworm could be put down and a flying ant boosted up significantly with our current hand, but let's see what we get here. Oh, an ant queen. Okay. Ooh, we could get a really strong ant queen. Watch this. Um, double sacrifice. Now it has 11 HP. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and get down another ant while we're at it too, and that automatically wins it for us. Just like that. Wow. That was beautiful. Yeah. 
Okay. What cards are we looking at? Ooh, Dam Builder. Um, what could we do? We could put it on the Wolf Cub like we've done in the past, and we know how awesome that is, so let's check it out. All right, moving on through. Ooh, a beehive. Um, that'd be interesting because if I put that on the beaver, I would assume that its dams would generate bees as well. Um, you know, I kind of like that as far as getting um, cards that I could sacrifice down. Maybe, maybe I'll go with that instead of doing the wolf cub with the dams that attack. As hilarious as that meme is. Um, now, duplicating cards. Huh, I don't see one per se that I want to do, but I, I would like the cave event and I would like the fungi event. Um, perhaps duplicating the beaver so that I could use it for two damn events would be nice. Let's move into here and see what we got. We could also duplicate our ant queen so that we have two strong ones and sacrifice the other one. Um, but I think I would rather... Oh, this is so hard. I guess let's go with the ant queen and since it has 5 HP I could combine it up into like one really strong one. Alright, that would have 8 if combined. so. Let's just keep going and see where this turns out. Coyotes and Kingfishers. And they also have Guardian on them. Um, well, this would be a perfect spot to use our um, Mealworm to make a beaver if we could, but we don't have two bone, unfortunately. So. We could put a skunk on the board and that would buy us some time. In fact, I think that I'll just go ahead and do that. It'll buy us a couple turns. Okay. And fortunately, it might not be enough. Um, I think I'm going to have to drag one of these over. Actually, let's use the tooth first. And now we'll be very close to not be able to do it, but if we can get our um, beaver down, I think it will have made enough sacrifices that we can also play mealworm um, and be looking like we're in a good situation. Um, now, beaver could take out these two and make dams, and that would be good, but I don't think they're going to block the airborns, so playing our Millworm might be moot. We might need to block this one more than anything else as well. Um, so let's do this. Let's do right here. And now we have dams, and we could play our millworm um, to, let's see. Trying to see if there's anything I'm not thinking of here that I could lose. Uh, the beaver will do one damage, and um, our. I think that we're okay. Let's just wait and see. Might be jumping the gun here, but I think that we might be okay. Okay. So let's draw from here, and good, we got a wolf cub, and it can actually beat our coyote situation here um, and I can also get the millworm down um, however I don't know if we're going to have enough damage to overcome this they're only one point away so if I miss even one it's not going to be good enough um, I think this one's going to cancel because it's river otter the beaver is going to cancel this kingfisher 
could get something in front of the coyote, and we can also have the wolf cub, you know, do damage and survive. Um, so we could play the millworm in front of it, and it is spiky, so it should kill it um, as well. So let's just do this, and I think that this is going to come out ahead overall, and we'll be okay. Okay. All right, not a huge change, but big enough that I think it, we now are on the right track because we're going to do four damage this turn, and they're only going to get, I think, two. Okay. And now we can play the beehive and start generating bees. I should have taken the millworm to generate extra bees. Oopsie do. Well, we can put down hey, there's a snake queen. Nice. So after we get beehive destroyed in this next turn, we'll uh get it played. Alright. Time for an ant queen, I suppose. There we go. Um, we'll have her take up all those, and we can get us a worker ant on the board, too. This may actually just go ahead and overwhelm them. Nice. Now we have enough teeth that I think it'll be worth taking on to uh, the trapper, so let's see. Alright, three sigils. I think it, that has enough of a chance to win. Alright, perfect. Exactly what we needed. Ooh, interesting. Um, bees within. But, I mean, that would only give us one, and Sprinter. The Moose Buck has Rabbit Hole and Bone Digger. And a Wild Bull that can kill in one hit. I think that we'll go with it. Alright, time to smush this together with some hero cards. Alright, could have us a strong Ant Queen or a Flying Ant that's hard to take out. Um, Wish we could view our other cards. It's kind of weird it won't let you view them for strategic reasons um, when you're on the duplicate duplicate thing. Um, now we could have a nice strong flying ant, but it's only two health, and we could get eight here instead, so I think that might make the most sense. I mean, that would really block enemy attacks for a while. It's talking about surviving a full great white attack and... Uh, you know, just one, but still. And we still have this Ant Queen that we can um, have as our other one in our hand, so that's pretty good. Alright, Stinky, and we have a Beehive. Um, let's go with our Wolf Cub, and we'll put it, I guess, in front of... Well, I guess it needs to be over here, away from the beehive. And we'll keep going from there. Okay, unfortunately, we have us an adder incoming, so I think I want to need to yank the cards over and um, see what we can do about this, because they're going to get plus three... Um, and then Stump's going to get hit. I will have Corpse Maggots come out, but I guess we can wait one more turn and we'll see if we absolutely have to yank a card over. Okay, looks like we do need to. Um, Ant Queen could take out both, and we would have, let's see, only one damage, so I think that, yeah, we could work this out. Um, actually, we'd have two damage. How many we have left? Three until we die. Um, so yeah, let's sacrifice these and 
we will get us a worker ant on the board and we can undo this beehive and this will kill that rattler rattler will come in and kill the ant queen but we'll have a bee in our hand so we should be able to take out at least one of the adders in the next turn i think okay and uh should have drawn from the other pile but let's uh let's see well we can't take them out because of the other thing going on here um the stinky so i think we may have to draw them over to have a chance like kind of hate to have to do that but i really don't want to lose our uh um candle here okay all because i drew from the wrong pile in that one turn that was uh not a sage move there okay flying ant time And I guess it's time for another flying ant. <laughs> okay, overall I feel like this run is doing a bit better than our previous one. And we have enough teeth to trade in. I don't see a need to do a fungi event just for flying ants. So let's head over this way. Kind of need a sigil swap. I'd like to get... Um, some stuff done with that. Okay. Good. Alright. Sigil swap. Just what we were asking for. Um, had an idea about putting beehive on our beaver here. And conversely, um, beaver does cost two, and the beehive could spread out, you know, two dams for the cost of one, and that would generate, I'm guessing, six bees. Um, however, having the beaver that could do attacks is really nice. Um, so I might stick with that route overall, because I like having the offense side of things. I don't think we really need to worry about auto deploying something with the corpse eater, so I guess I guess we need to hold on to it too, just in case we get something that is undying. So let's do sacrifice the beehive and put it on our beaver. Okay. Hopefully that'll get us um, quite a few bees out of the deal. Kingfishers and coyotes. Unfortunately, I don't think kingfishers would hit our dams any. Um, so we only have a skunk that we can play right now. Ah, oh, that is not good. I think that we're going to have... It's a little too much damage going on too quickly. Yep. Um, now we can get the wild bull started and it could take out the coyote or just do a plus three here and keep going. Um, that might be our wisest decision, but either way, we're still kind of in a pickle here. Um, the beaver can get its dams down. However, I think that we're going to suffer too much damage. Let's see. Coyote won't hurt me. The I think that the kingfishers would do two damage. And the sparrow would add up three, and that would be game over. So that's not good. Um... The wild bull may be our only choice here. It can um, do a hit there, which would be plus three, but then we're going to get plus one, two, three, four, five. Um, 
So it'd be just barely, I think. I might be miscounting too, but let's just see what happens. I don't really have much of a choice here either way, I don't think. Oh, and I just lost my wild bull because I put it too far over. That was silly. I was too focused on the one movement sigil. And uh, that lost it for me. <laughs> oh well. I should have put it all the way to the left and it would have landed on the sparrow like I hoped to make it. Darn, darn, darn. Another, I guess, somewhat valid move would have been to uh, lay it in front of the coyote to begin with. <laughs> oh well. I think I just got a little bit excited there and moved too quickly. Hopefully I can get enough items and um, get enough situation for this boss fight to uh, pull out ahead. Interesting getting a woodcarver right before the fight. Um, oh, bees inside. We're taking that instead of morsel. Morsel's okay, but it's... I think it might be getting in our way a little bit more than it's helping, and I believe bees inside could truly be be a good way to win this so let's see what we get but you know i'll probably be using scissors on one of those bait buckets when the moment's right i hate those things well we could disable the kingfisher but it is going to move around um so let's just go with a flying ant like over here or something Maybe we can get our um, dam out here in a minute. And of course, he's wanting to pull a card already. So let's put it in front of um, this set of kingfishers. Okay. Do what you want to do there, buddy. Um, and I think at this point it's good to sacrifice our um, flying ant for the beaver so that we can get two dams on the board. And the bullfrog will help us generate some bees when it hits our dam. Thank you, bullfrog. How kind of you. Okay. And I don't know if I even want to bother laying anything down. He's only selected a dam, and that's not exactly a big loss for me. Um, so I think we'll just let him have it. Oh, now he's going to pull over the corpse maggots. And I didn't see that coming. I forgot that they do the attack. I should remember these things. But alas, I don't. Um, <laughs> so... Let's see, we could get the skunk down and that would neuter the uh, corpse maggot's ability to do any damage to me. And yeah, pretty happy with that. So it's a little bit of a war of attrition here for a moment while we are building up our empire here. Um, now we could get rid of the beaver and get us a wild bull started. Um, but with it moving around, that's just not a happy place to be, so let's do a rabbit pelt pull instead. I guess I could have let him get that down too, but oh well. Okay, and let's see. I think we'll draw from here. Let's see what he wants to pull next. Uh oh, now he's doing some positive damage. Um, he could pull that skunk over, and I think that that would be fine. What are we doing on damage? Oh, we can't seem to look at it right now without drawing a card. Okay, two damage to get us down to the critical spot, so let's just let him pull the skunk over. Okay, um, and... Now we, I think I may have just played myself here. Um, the 
the beaver could be replaced by our wild bull and I think do enough damage to have an impact. Oh, what happened here? That was weird. The corpse card come back in our hand or something? That has to be a glitch. I've never seen something like that happen before. Um, so, the Ant Queen could get on the board, but we also kind of need the Wild Bull. And they're going to do two damage to me, unfortunately. And that's not good. Um, I could get both the Bull and the other one down, and I could sacrifice the Beaver to do so. So... I think it would have to be, or I could cut a card right now, and most of my problems would go away, and I'm just putting the wild bull on the board. Um, but I really need that card cutting for when it comes to the bait bucket, just in case. So, Ant Queen getting on the board won't be able to pull me out of this hole. Well, it would come close. I think I just really need the Raging Bull, though. This will get enough hit points on the board to uh, really get things rolling, I think. It's so weird seeing this glitch that's going on. Okay. I think that we're safe now. I was thinking I wouldn't be safe due to uh, the Kingfishers being, you know, two, but we have overall a plus, or a negative one in that previous turn, so it wasn't as bad as I was thinking. I don't know why, but I was thinking it was a lot worse than what it was. And we're about to pull one of the Kingfishers off right now, too. So it's going to work out just fine. Okay, good. Alright, so Corpse Maggots are back. Whatever happened with that glitch seems to have been resolved. Um, now, could get the Millworm down and how much damage we need. Quite a bit. And he's going to pull something over. We don't want him to get to the Wild Bull. So, I guess getting us a, another Squirrel up will be our best route here. This is a really long first phase for this guy. It usually doesn't take me this long. How did we get rid of the Kingfisher? Looks like it disappeared and the wild bull hit it and that made it go away. I missed what happened there. I was too focused on my next move, I think. Um, Beaver will take out the corpse maggots and wild bull will get us a good amount of damage going. Um, I think this is all we need to do for the moment. Got a lot of bees too, so I'm a little bit worried about starvation about to set in, so I need to uh, be on the lookout for that. Let's put his pelt down. Okay. Alright, and we can go ahead and have, I suppose, uh, another squirrel get pulled. We're going to win this fight using uh, bees and bees alone, just about. <laughs> okay, and let's see. I guess I should be considering getting an ant queen on here. Our beaver alone is just not really cutting it anymore. I could put a flying ant down, however. There we go. Now I'll probably sacrifice um, our beaver for something else. Maybe 
See, I've got to have another flying ant here somewhere, right? I don't. Um, could put one of our really strong ant queens on the board, however. And it would be enough to take on one of those dudes. And, oh, we got a wolf cub, too. Um, it's not going to be strong enough to survive one of those guys, though. But if I clear the lane, um, it could. And, let's see... Yeah, we don't have a good situation here because they also go back underwater. So I think that cutting this one makes the most sense because Wild Bull will strike for three. Flying Ant will put us at four. And the Beaver will hit the trap. Um, now, this dam is just going to sit here unused, unfortunately. Um, and. Bees could be used to fill in some of the gaps here, so I think I'm just going to have to roll with what we've, what we've got here. Okay. Alright, um, I'm going to have to get, looks like, just a couple more points of damage on the board, so if I can hang out a little bit longer, I think I'll be safe. Um, yeah, playing Ant Queen or something would be cool, but don't think it's going to matter. Let's just play a B, and I think that'll be enough to win. Ooh, that was intense. That was one of the longest fights with the angler I've had in a long time. All right, Horse Maggots, Red River Snapper, and a Rat King. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I don't have a lot of cards that take bones, so Rat King doesn't sound super good. I think we'll just do Corpse Maggots, and um, I think it was that our second boss or the third. Actually, didn't quite catch it. Okay, it was our second. This match has been going, uh, these matches have been going longer than normal, so it's <laughs> losing track of time. Alright, sigils. No question about it. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, man. Oh, well. Let's put our auto deploy on something kind of powerful. Um,. Perhaps our Ant Queen that has a lot of health. We can, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. So we'll put it on our eight health one. There we go. That might make us really lucky if we draw it as part of our early um, first turn or two, you know, and we have something cheap to die. All right, bees inside, and ooh, coming out with a rough combo here: raven eggs and an elk fawn. Um, well, tempted to take out the elk fawn first. I'm trying to think of if I have any problems here. Do you have black goats that I can use to get us an ant queen going? It does have bees inside, so. I think that I'll do that to generate a B. Um, that'll also get us an ant in our hand. Okay. So we should be able to get two ants here on the board. And uh, that might be overwhelming damage to be able to win. Um, Thankfully. Okay. Too bad they have Stinky on here. That's going to throw things off, unfortunately. Um, so we're only going to get, let's see, three. So then I'll take out that lane. And then um, this will get us plus two. And this one's going to take out that Raven Egg. So overall, it won't win us, but we will get a few points on the board. 
and uh, survive until the next round. Ooh, and another Ant Queen. Um, I don't think it's worth sacrificing these out though, because this worker ant should take out that column, and uh, yeah, should be good. I think it, yep, I was about to say, I think we just won, and we did. Okay, got us a fungi event, and um, I don't really see anything good to do with that. Um, I mean, we do have Ant Queen that we could put out here and get us like a 11-pointer um, Ant Queen that auto-deploys, and we could get Flying Ants, or we could get Second Ant Queen that has 6 health. Um, that's pretty radical as well. Um, we do have a lot of pelts to trade. We've got four sitting here. So kind of like to get those traded in in a cave event attempt. So let's go that route. Hopefully the pelts won't uh, screw us over again. Ah, four blood, five bone, or six health. Well, if we got just that one, it would win. So, hmm. Health sounds tempting. Blood is also somewhat tempting here as well. We only need four, so we added any of the twos plus two to the ones or two of the twos. Let's go with blood. I feel like that's a little bit better of a chance. Oh, there it is. We lost it. As soon as I saw the pelt, pelts are really messing with us today. All right. Oh man, ants that are waterborne. That would be funny, but I don't think it would work overall. Probably. <laughs> kind of need them to do damage. Um, I guess it would help with the airborne ones, though. They would be able to survive longer and we get the multipliers, you know, across the board. Because um, they're not going to be killing anything, anyways. Um, but bees inside. Is this too strong? I think it will stick with it, but we'll take that other sigil just for fun. Looks like we're going to come up on a fungi event um, either way here in a, another turn or two. Turkey vulture. Oh boy. And a mole. It has sharp quills as well. Um could stick out a skunk right away. Um, Millworm does have bees inside, but we won't have anything to play on it. So let's do the rabbit pelt and continue on. Oh, yep. Duh, it's not going to matter since it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm totally blanking on my words here. Um, it's not going to matter since it's airborne, so now they're going to have plus five attack, and I don't think that I will be able to overcome that situation. Um, Skunk can get on the board, and we, yeah, I think that we don't really have a chance here now, because so I put the rabbit pelt in a bad spot and needed something that had mighty leap to be able to stop the turkey vulture. It's mighty lame. Um, yeah, the wolf cub would only do one damage, and we're not going to have enough bone here. I could do two sacrifices, though, and let's see. I have a really strong... You know, that might work, actually, so let's do this number here. And now we'll do this, you know, it's a little bit silly looking. And that gets us enough to have the millworm. And it doesn't attack, so it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> so the mole is going to come over here and block the wolf anyways. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to matter. I think it's GG, y'all. This candle at least. Wow, and they're going to send out another wolf to me too. Jeez, that was uh, really vicious.
All right, rabbit pelts. Oh, the, it's a wolverine. Cool, we haven't had one of those. When a card bearing sigil attacks an opposing creature and it perishes, this card gains one power. Well, we're taking that super late in the game, but we're going to do it. And, uh, heck, while we're at it, why don't we go ahead and get, let's see, a cockroach. If we put its power on corpse maggots, it would come back over and over and over. Um, so why don't we get it to you? And let's see, Rat King has many lives. And a wild bull that is unkillable. Um, Moosebuck, which has fecundity on it. The Ant Queen, that is a bone generator. Um, let's see who's the Ant Queen. Why not? Ooh, okay. Mantis God. Um, it's tempting, but let's do the Gek. Because if we get the Gek that is unperishing i think that we will have an ideal situation going forward i need to look at the map but i wish that i could get Ooh, let's combo these up yeah nice okay wow yeah it's not feeling good here without items um only like one bad move away from losing here. Um, so let's just see what we can do. Turkey Vulture has bifurcated attack. Oh, geez. Um, so it's going to attack down this way. I don't have anything with Mighty Leap. Um, the Beaver is only going to do one damage at a time. So, I mean, I could slow down the Turkey Vulture a little bit. Um, but that's just not not good enough um yeah i think that i'm probably going to lose again but let's just see what cards come up i guess okay and draw from here and uh now a raven with bifurcated attack as well. Yeah. Um, so there's... It feels like there's no stopping this one. Um, the mole is going to block, you know, um, if I like play the beaver or the ant queen in front of it, it's going to block the raven, which or block me from block the raven once I am blocked from damaging that spot and uh, if I sacrifice the skunk turkey vulture is going to do three damage and I would lose anyways um, yeah it's too bad that dams I think are not going to block airborne attacks that's our big problem here that we're having to deal with so I don't see a possible way out of this um, the only thing I can think of is if my ant queen had enough power on it but I don't think it does anyways um, we would generate a ant if it comes on the board, but we have nothing to sacrifice it with. Um, yeah, there is nothing. I think there's nothing here that I can do. Um, so let's swallow in despair as we lose with this awesome deck. Um, we'll put the beaver down just for heck of it. I'm like 95% sure it's not going to help, but we'll uh, we'll have it on there just for the heck of it, right? Yep. There goes our turkey vulture. One strike. Wow. Man, I feel like the AI uh, kind of cheated on me a little bit here with this previous run. <laughs> um, that was a big hit. So I just wanted to check what we had on again. So I'm pretty sure I had on 
boss totems, boss rares, and let's see. I think maybe I did this. Maybe it was on more difficult, and I'll go back and check the stream later. But I was just like, why is it getting so hard all of a sudden? And maybe it was more difficult. So um, I need to think on my strategy on this because it is so tough with uh, that as it is. And, you know, if we want to do something like that, that's a lot of stuff hitting me um, all at once. Having like one less item, pricey pelts, no hook. But maybe that's key to getting past all of it. Okay, well, I'll have to think on that one. That's tough. Thanks for watching. It's been S Tier Rank. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rank, and I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good one.